A man says he found his stolen truck on his own in a parking lot off Shalliford Road. The truck had been vandalized and he says several items were missing. Tonight he's speaking out and he says whoever is responsible needs to come forward. Here's Channel 3's Casey Freeman. John Watson says his pickup truck was stolen from his front yard while he was asleep. He says he's upset because he's out of at least $1,000 for damages and now he wants to know who took his truck. Last Monday, John Watson woke up to text messages from his neighbors saying his car was missing from his North Shore home. I thought maybe somebody was playing a prank. Uh, maybe I parked it somewhere else. Who knows? But uh, lo and behold, I didn't have a vehicle the next day. Watson reported the theft to Chattanooga police and they listed the truck in the National Crime Information Center database. He says the neighborhood is typically safe and that's why he accidentally left his keys in the car. Watson was told it would be a waiting game for the suspect to be caught. They had to be pulled over. My plates had to still be on the vehicle, and I knew this just wasn't going to, to find my vehicle. It was going to be happenstance at best. Watson and police could not use GPS to locate the vehicle because the suspect took OnStar out of the car. So Watson began searching the area. His friend ultimately found Watson's vehicle in the parking lot of Food City on Lee Highway. Tons of things inside that shows that the vehicle has been in Georgia, it's been in North Carolina. Um, so it's been way more than 25 minutes away from my house. They just happened to return it here. Chattanooga police say the responding officer checked surveillance video from nearby businesses and nothing of value was taken. Watson says although he got his truck back, repairing damages from the incident could be close to $1,000 from a front bull bumper to the research on the back. The mirror was taken off the windshield. The windshields cracked. They attempted removing the mirrors and I mean the list just goes on and on. A Chattanooga police spokesperson says the auto theft unit will continue to investigate. They hope to find the person responsible soon. In the studio, Casey Freeman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Casey. According to the Chattanooga Police Department, 785 vehicles were reported stolen between June and November of this year, 238 of which had keys inside.